Hello everyone, this week I'm going to be covering GarageBand and how I use that to quickly edit some audio clips that I record for Reform U Reformed University uh, Fellowship at Mississippi State. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be quickly touching on how I can uh, edit each track um, because I do restore, uh, I save this audio as two per separate tracks. Uh, one being the sermon and the other one just being the band playing uh, praise and worship songs. Uh, I'll show you how to export those to iWeb or even just to your desktop so you can distribute them however you like. Also, I'll be showing you how I use gates, compressors, reverb, uh, EQ settings to get the most out of your sound. You want it to sound great. You want the listeners to uh, feel like they're really there. And that's what we're going to co cover in this episode. Hope you enjoy. I just wanted to create another screencast that uh, if uh, you don't have Wiretap Studio or some other recording program, hey, why not use what came on your computer? All right, so as before, I uh, I record audio for this uh, this Bible study that meets once a week on the college campus. I mean, I attend and all that. So I have here the audio. And this up here is, happens to be um, the, like, say, the music right here. At first, I just I, I used Wiretap Studio, or you could use GarageBand, to record the entire service, start to finish. Um, so that's like uh, we sing a couple of, you know, praise songs, that kind of thing. People clap. They have announcements. Um, we might sing another song or something like that. Uh, the pastor preaches, and then we sing another song or two, and then we close. So there's a fair, a fair amount of editing that has to go on to cut out the announcements, to cut out the clapping, and so on and so forth. So what I've done is I've created two tracks. One up here of just the the audio that I'm going to be uh, just just the uh, not excuse me the audio, but just the music because. This right here is going to be a podcast, and this down here is the sermon where the pastor is preaching um, to the college students. Uh, it's just him. So, two different podcasts. And for me to export that using GarageBand, what I do is, like, say I want to export this one. This is what I'm editing and I'm cutting out, and you can see where I've cut out some audio. What I did is, while I'm playing this and making sure the transitions are nice, I might come here... Uh, and do something to that effect to give it a nice transition so it's not so abrupt as it fades in. Uh, I'll come over here and this this mutes this track over here because hey I don't want to listen to it while I'm editing that track. Also when I'm done editing and I'm ready to share send podcast to iWeb or however you want to distribute it I come down here and I'll hit lock track and what that does is right here what it says it says click to lock or unlock track um, so I can export these one at a time each track and I can have however many garage band allows if I want to just this one I can do that you know mute this to edit without hearing both at the same time and hit this one to export this track up here so when I'm done I'll just hit share send podcast to iWeb it gives me the settings that I want to do. Uh, yeah, that one looks great right there. 128 kilobits. Yeah. So I'll hit share. And so it's going to do its thing. Um, and then when it gets done, it'll iWeb will come up and it'll ask me, hey, you know, which podcast do you want to listen to? Uh, do you want to send it to? Because as you can see here, I have one for music. And then I have another page. For the sermon, and I different ha I have different uh, archives for I uh, for either, and so that's what I just kind of wanted to highlight tonight on uh, is some settings over here in GarageBand. And actually, I'm going to cancel this because there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Another way that you can tweak your audio using just GarageBand is uh, by using some of the built-in stuff. I come over here and I I've saved this as a preset podcasting RUF because this is what I use it for. I'll come over here and I'll add some stuff, a gate, the compressor, speech enhancer, visual EQ. I give it just a little bit of a, a gate 
and you can see noise applies to the track. Over here the compressor this is how I have it set up and also the speech enhancer male voiceover it depends on how you're using it you can tweak it to however you like or even the visual EQ just a little bit on the low end a little on the high end depending on what kind of music and audio you're working with you might have to tailor this to different settings so let's let's uh, let's uh, let's hear some um, some music that's uh, you know that's the uh, the audio add just a smidge really brightens it up want to add a little bit of reverb and go ahead and do that too much but get the idea just a smidge because they are singing in um, a, uh, an auditorium and I, I just want to give it a little bit so I mean even with just garage band, you can see you can hear before and after and you can set up some uh, some other things that's uh, that you want to add in here play around with it and here's some of the, my uh, uh, aftermarket plugins this is the GarageBand stuff. Comes with a computer. I mean, you just can't beat that. Uh, wow, a whole ton of stuff. Really nice, and it works for Wiretap Studio. These plugins work with Wiretap Studio, uh, GarageBand, so it's really great. So you kind of get the effect. I hope this helps out and uh, sheds some light on um, another alternative that you could use for your podcasting needs. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this screencast. And I will see you later.